Okay, so here's another plant that I'm going to categorize as an invasive species. In a lot of cases, it's not considered an invasive species, but in some cases it is because it gets really bad, this plant. This entire area of my backyard was completely covered by poison ivy, which is what this is. And I did my best to eradicate it, and I got rid of most of it, but it still pops up around the yard regardless. And so I'm going to pluck this out and show you what it looks like. Okay. Now, as long as I keep my hands away from the leaves, I'll generally be okay. The leaves of three, leave it be. Okay, that's an old saying. That is what poison ivy generally looks like. Now, there is another species of poison ivy. They call it poison oak, and it very much looks the same way, except the leaf on poison oak is a little bit more, uh, looks more like an oak leaf rather than like this. Um, let me see. I don't know if I have poison oak here. This very well could be poison oak. I'm pretty sure this is poison ivy, though. They look almost the same. There's very little you can tell uh, from this plant difference between poison ivy and poison oak. And I had a big chunk of it growing all the way up the side of my tree one year, when I, right around when I first moved here. And it grows as a vine, as you can see. It also can grow like a little shrubby plant like this. But in the right conditions, if it feels that it can roll out that vine in an upwards direction, it'll grow upwards. What it does on the ground is it grows a vine along the ground and it will throw up all these little plants like this. That vine you would think is, you know, multiple plants. It's really one plant growing like a vine on the ground. Very similar to, to the way Virginia creeper will grow or any of those other kind of vines. But one year I had on this maple tree back here, it's a large maple. I had a really big vine growing all the way up the tree and I felt it was time to take the hat poison ivy down <laughs> so I decided to cut it at the base put on a couple of basic gloves and started pulling that vine down pulled it and pulled it got most of it off of the tree there may be a couple pieces up at the top that stuck but I pretty much removed the whole thing in one swipe well boy did I get poison ivy so bad from doing that because all the little pieces of those roots and all the stuff on it all was shaking down and falling on top of me I got it really bad. I mean, I had poison ivy in areas that you probably don't want to get poison ivy. And it was not a good experience. I was itching and hurting all over the place. Didn't kill me, but it was very, very uncomfortable. So be real careful trying to remove poison ivy. This plant will affect your skin. It's a, the, the only thing poisonous about this plant is that it causes, there's an oil in it that causes Demetriitis, I believe it's called. And it only affects the skin. It's not going to infect you internally. In fact, there's some people who actually eat this plant and they don't get poison ivy. As long as if they don't let it touch any part of their mouth outside of their mouth. So if you eat it, it's not going to give you poison ivy on the inside of your stomach. Now, do not eat that based on what I'm telling you you would want to research something like that before you would even attempt to do something like that. But I have seen people actually eat this plant. All right, there's a certain way you can consume it. I wouldn't consume it myself. I don't recommend you consume it yourself. There's no reason for you to do that. You can go to the store and buy lettuce if you want to eat something green. But the plant, what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is that it's, it's a contact dermatitis is what you get from the plant which affects the skin on the outside of your body the inside of your body you're not going to get it because the oils are not you don't have skin on the inside of your body you have organs and stomach lining and acid and it's not the same as your skin on the outside of your body okay so what i'm trying to say is is that it doesn't affect you the same way on the inside of your body but on the other hand the dangerous part of this is if you burn this, if you burn this plant and you inhale that smoke, that could kill you. It can get on the inside of your lungs and it can cause a type of poison ivy 
poisoning on the inside of your lungs and it could cause your lungs to swell and you could die. Never burn us. In fact, I believe in most states in the United States, it's actually illegal to deliberately burn poison ivy. It's illegal because anybody downstream of that smell or that smoke can be actually poisoned or sickened from this. Could be life threatening. So do not attempt to ever burn this. If you do get a little of it, you're not going to go in a fire and get it out. Just stand clear. Do not breathe that in. Here's another piece of it here. As you can see. See how it's growing like it wants to grow up this tree? Eventually, because it's growing near this tree, it will put out a shoot and it'll just roll its way right up that tree. Believe it or not. Now, like me right now, you're probably saying, why are you touching this if you're going to get it? I'm not generally going to get it because you can see that it's not in season with the oil. Now, if I rub it on me and I break that, that leaf and release those oils, then I'll get it. But in general, if you see it looks very shiny on the surface, that's when just touching it, you can get it very easily. But if you don't see it shiny like that in general, you're not gonna get, get it just by touching the plant. And you're not gonna get it by touching the stem over here. You will get it if you disturb that stem and you release those oils that are in there. Or like I say, in the spring when you see it very shiny on a leaf, that's when you're gonna get it. Now, I did touch it, I'm gonna wash my hands. Not that washing your hands is gonna remove the oil, but you don't wanna spread it around, just in case you did get it, all right? So, yep, that was just a quick look at the poison ivy plant. If you have any questions on it, just comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.